what does the New York City look like right now? Well, I, I remember it very well from, you know, the vibrant streets and, uh, you know, the, the rush, uh, the dynamic uh, character. Um, wh what does it look like right now? Okay, it's a little heartbreaking, but you have to realize that the lockdown in New York was much longer and much stricter than in Europe. The trauma that people, the post-traumatic stress syndrome that people have suffered was much worse than here because they went from like normal to people, you know, um, corpses lining up on the streets. Like we had in, in Manhattan, we had these, uh, what's, um, where corpses are cooled, uh, forget what it's called. Um, yeah, you know, they were you freezers, like fridges. Oh, yeah, yeah, or, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, the morgues. Yes. Yeah. And, um, and mass graves. I mean, these pictures that people couldn't even work their brains around them. So they went from this to the opening, which went very, very slowly. I came from Germany, where we also had a lockdown, but life felt much more normal here. Okay, other than masks and mm -hmm. social distancing, pretty normal. New York, completely different. I went into a two-week quarantine when I got there. I will say, though, that many papers exaggerate, especially the Trump-friendly Murdoch papers like the Daily Mail and New York Post. Uh, despite knowing better, I had read that and taken it to heart. So I was prepared for the worst crime. I thought, you know, there are thugs on every street corner, even on the Upper East Side where I live. It's not that bad. Mm -hmm. So then every day that I was there, it got better. You could tell people wanted to come out and no crime. Of course, there'll be more crime when there's more poverty, but not. it's more in the at night with gangs and in the Bronx, so not where you're walking around the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. So um, so I felt people want, we had dream weather. So everybody was outside. The restaurants could only serve outside. All the restaurants were full. Um, women, older people all dressed up, you know, jewelry, because they were so happy to socialize. I will say 50% of people are still traumatized. They will not meet, they will not meet, leave their apartments, which had, mm -hmm. have become prisons, essentially. Um, we'll have everything delivered, which is convenient in New York. I also went to my, and 50% is kind of like, you're know, pulsating and like wanting their old lives back. My office is in Rockefeller Center, which is mm -hmm. in the middle of town, yeah. which is usually full with tourists. Mm -hmm. Tourists are completely gone because there are no tourists from Europe. Yeah. There are tourists in other areas that I've seen from Russia, India, South America, and not, I mean, good numbers, but of course it's not like it was before. Mm -hmm. And then every day you saw more people, like little groups of people you could tell were dressed for the office with tie and mm -hmm. uh, suit. And um, you saw lines in front of restaurants, again, small lines and social distancing, longer lines like salad places. So of course, you're looking for these things. You're trying to find indicators that life is going back to normal. And I think if now Corona is coming back, New York was super great. We had less Corona infections than Germany. But now that it's going out of control everywhere else in the United States, of course, it's coming back to New York. If that weren't the case, and this goes to my original point in the beginning, if Corona were controlled and uh, protectionism was somehow reigned in, I think New York will come back rather quickly. I think the way that things are going, it probably New York will see hard, a hard two to five years. Mm -hmm. But I think New York will always be New York. The fantastic buildings, many modern buildings, which with uh, you know great air filters and lots of space for people to socially distance. So I think New York will change. We'll probably have more tech companies come in. I don't think New York is dead. It, it just will take probably more time and for a good while, it, it won't mm -hmm. be the same. But if you can come, I would totally urge you to come because I had the best time. It's, it, New York lives through its people and most of the New Yorkers are there or are coming for a few days a week. And so it's still always, it's a great place. The reports on, on, on number of residents moving out of the city, um, um, are you, 
do you have any friends among them or well i would or say is it you know greatly exaggerated or is it is it actually happening uh it is happening i think final numbers it's too early to tell because new york of course um consists of manhattan yeah. what you always see on yeah. postcards with the skyscrapers yeah. but then yeah. there are also for other um, suburbs, you know, Brooklyn, mm -hmm. Queens, Staten Islands, and so forth. Yeah. So those, Manhattan is very wealthy. Mm -hmm. um, 1.7 million people live in Manhattan, and 1.7 million people every day commute into Manhattan pre-corona. So the fact that many people have not come back, especially families, and that there's very few, very little commuting going on, of course, it's kind of quiet on the island. Mm -hmm. I think in the suburbs that are um, where less wealthy people live, more of them have been moving away because they're still expensive. It's still New York. Mm -hmm. um, I think in, in New York, many people have the means to wait it out. Many people who live in New York have a second home, vacation home in the Hamptons in Florida. Mm -hmm. um, many people are leaving their families in those places, uh, but they're coming back for two, three days a week, or they're commuting daily even. There's this helicopter service, people are paying. This is a great number, I think 250 people out of, um, you know, my recollection right now is would be 250 people pay $800 a day to commute with a helicopter back and forth to the Hamptons, um, from the Hamptons to Manhattan. So I think bottom line, yes, there will be many people who will move away. Mm -hmm. Many families, because people will lose income and life is a lot cheaper in other places of the country. But I think it's too early to tell because people live in New York because they tick like New Yorkers. They mm -hmm. want the interaction with other people. They, mm -hmm. they go crazy. I mean, if they wanted to, they have all the money in the world. If they wanted to live in the country, they could have always moved to the country. Yeah. Uh, so I think not as many people will have permanently moved away as people think, but for the time being, people, a lot of people are also staying away. Mm -hmm. So, so numbers are 500,000. Mm -hmm. I mean, that could probably be at this time. Mm 